Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Archiax. And today we have another very exciting tutorial. Actually, it's not a tutorial, it's just an introduction video. But today we're gonna talk about groundbreaking AI tools for architects out there. So AI has been making waves in various industries out there and architecture is really no exception. So let's take a look at these six tools that can really help you out with your workflows and save you a lot of time. So let's dive right into it. So the first tool that I want to talk about today is Spacely AI. Spacely AI is another game-changing tool that can help you brainstorm your interior design iterations. Now, as you can see, there are several features included in Spacely AI, but the one that's most interesting to me is Style Transfer. Using this tool, you can submit one image of your choice and a reference image with a certain style that you want to replicate. And the result is a image that kind of blends the two. It'll maintain the structure of the first image, but it'll somehow bring in the textures, the lighting, and the style of the reference image that you've entered. As you can imagine, this can be extremely useful for brainstorming for different ideas. Now, of course, the exact dimensions and the exact furnitures that this AI generates is not, may not be available in real life, but nonetheless, this could be an extremely good starting points and good conversation starter with potential clients. Okay, next up is Verus. Verus is a AI powered visualization tool that can be added onto SketchUp, Revit, and Rhinoceros. Verus is really cool because it basically takes a almost like a basic clay rendering of your current scene and turns them into a photorealistic images like you're seeing on the screen. I can imagine this tool becoming extremely useful because I often find myself sort of stuck in the stage where I have the general form and shape of the building, but I don't exactly know what kind of finish, landscape, or additional features to add to my current design. And this is a point where Verus can be extremely useful. You can just bring in um, several iterations to the table and try to brainstorm from there. As you can see, this is not exact direct competitor to existing rendering tools out there like V-Ray or Lumion or whichever tool that you prefer. I consider this as more of like a brainstorming tool because some of the geometries don't quite transfer exactly. As you can see in this image, new windows are being created, new lighting are being created and the mullions are all different. But nonetheless, it's actually really cool to see um, designs that you may not have even imagined having. but. This will just uh, open up more possibilities for you. What's also really cool about Verus is that you can, they provide you with several sliders to fine tune the results. You can ask it to be really creative and create something that is vastly different from what you've given it. Or you can reduce that to stick to original 3D model as closely as possible. It also has a prompt so that you can specify more features directly. As you can see in this video, it generates uh, tens and almost like 100 options within seconds. So yeah, this is almost like having your a team of renderers and like designers right next to you iterating with different options. So this could be extremely fun as well as productive for most of the workflows, especially during the conceptual design process. Okay, next up on our list is Adobe Generative Fill. Now this feature uh, so this feature is super exciting coming out from Adobe. You may have seen this on social media if you have been on Instagram and TikTok in the recent weeks. This is only available on the beta version of Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Firefly right now, but I'm sure it's coming to the official release very soon. What's cool about this tool is that it takes a, it allows you to select parts of the image that, that you want to edit. And instead of using, you know, several Photoshop tools like patch tool and the clone and stamp tool, you can tell AI to do exactly what you want it to do. A common application for this tool, I imagine, will be the rendering part, where let's say you have rendered a beautiful image of your building, spent hours to uh, fine tune it, color correct it, and make some fine adjustments. And then a new requirement comes in to add like a couple new things. Now, instead of rolling all the way back to your 3D software to find the right tools, uh, find the right texture to you know, fix everything, you can simply select the area of concern and type in the prompts to change it. And yeah, 
you might be well on your way to submitting your finalized design. So it's another very interesting tool for architects out there. So I strongly encourage you to check it out and uh, when it comes out, definitely integrate that into your design process. Okay, next up on our list is Midjourney. Midjourney is probably one of the most well-known text-to-image generative AI out there. And the way it works is simply by typing in the keywords into the Discord server and it'll generate several images based on the text. This is super easy to get started and you can get a very wide range of results based on the text you put in. And the results can range from simple sketches all the way to photorealistic images like you're seeing on the screen. And as you can imagine, the application in the architecture world is quite obvious. You can ask it to create interesting conceptual designs and environments and incorporate them into your design process. Some of the results are actually very photorealistic and creative. Some of the spaces that it generates is so original too. This is also one of the most popular generative AI used in AI architecture competition. So if you're interested in entering more competitions like that, you might want to take a look at this tool. We also did a full review on Midjourney on our channel. So if you want to check that out, check out the link in the top right corner or the one in the description. So moving away from the conceptual design side, the next tool I want to talk about is Finch 3D. Finch 3D also made waves in the social media when they first introduced this auto floor plan feature. What you basically do is create the boundaries for the floor plans that you want to create. And Finch will go ahead and like try out all kinds of iterations to find the most effective floor plan, as you can see on the screen right now. And unlike many other AI tools out there, they actually take the design process into consideration. It follows the exact same logic that architects use to design the floor plan. So they try to, you know, allocate the entrance closest to the elevator core and the living room is at like a prime real estate. And they also make sure that bedrooms have window and all that good stuff. They try to figure out the circulation for you this will save you so much time. Even if it doesn't get everything exactly right, it'll give you like a starting point to, you know, kickstart your design process. And yeah, and just watching these tools work is just fascinating as well. Like moving this wall instantly generates several possibilities. And you can see that the floor plans are actually quite realistic and livable. All the rooms are dimensioned pretty reasonably. Furnitures are placed at a logical location. Strongly recommend you check this out. Okay, next up on our list is Swap or Swap, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Swap is a revolutionary tool in the architecture space because it's able to not only generate a full floor plan, but an entire BIM model. So that it includes things like uh, elevation, sections that are completely labeled and has annotations and they look almost presentable. Now, of course, this they're not going to be ready for you know shop drawing or like going straight into contractors but the fact that artificial intelligence is able to design an entire building with the structure and all kinds of factors in consideration is quite mind-blowing and as you can see in this video all you really have to do is plug in several constraints for your project like your site and different kinds of requirements and it will generate the entire 3d bin model just like that and from there, you can section it out, create the floor plans, and create an entire PDF drawing set just from that. And I can imagine if this works really well, this is going to be a go-to solution for every architecture companies out there. So I'm looking forward to seeing where this app is going. Now, speaking of AI, we have to talk about AI architecture competition at Archive. The current competition is about imagining the utopian future with the AI integration. What's really cool about AI architecture competition is that you're able to submit AI generated images. So grab your favorite tool out there, whether that be Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, or DALI. There will also be many honorable mentions, so this could be a really good way to get some practice and get some recognition in the industry. What's also really cool is that this is completely free to enter if you are a Plus member on Archive. So if you're interested in entering this competition several times, I think you should definitely check it out. Okay, so what do you guys think? Did you like these tools? Have you guys tried any of them out? 
Let us know in the comments below if you want to try any of them out or if you know any other tools that I didn't mention in this video. So thanks for tuning in again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.